Tucked away from the shopping streets in Shanghai is a very small studio. This place is all about creativity with accessories, many of which you're not likely to find at the bustling malls on Huai Hai Road, just meters away. Today's Style Watch lets you in on the latest fashion tips using just lace, beads, and pearls. Even the smallest fashion accessory can be filled with detail. Lining up these tiny beads to make unique earrings or a necklace, I think the designer must be quite creative and ingenious. Here in her tiny and cozy studio, I meet Elisa Wang. She tells me that she's actually a graphic designer and took part in the designs of many popular landmarks like Xintiandi, Bridge Eight, and the Shanghai Concert Hall. Elisa, as I know, you have a full-time job as a graphic designer.、Mm -hmm. So, how did you start your another career as a jewelry designer? Well, jewelry design is actually like my hobbies before. Like I like to play around with beads and like bits and that. It was like when I was 11 years old.、Mm -hmm. So it's like a long time, and I just like gradually change it into like a career. So those two careers must have made you very busy. How do you manage all your time? Usually, when I'm watching TV at home, like after dinner, that I will start my accessories or like doing like some handicrafts work. Each piece is handmade and limited in quantity. They might look simple, but to finish one piece can take her up to two hours. Elisa gets some of her materials from her travels to Italy, India, and England. Influenced by her graphic design, love of fashion, fine arts, and daily life in Shanghai, the idea of curating original pieces is at the heart of her approach. This necklace looks very unique with green leaves and branches. Yeah, this is actually a new product for this spring. Yeah, the inspiration is from a paper cut. So paper yeah,、mm -hmm. so at first I draw the pattern on paper and then match the fabrics and just like cut it up. Oh, so how do you match this necklace with the clothes? Well, I think when I design it, I think because you know in spring you wear a lot of like light colored clothes, like white. Or like cotton clothes, or like pink,、mm. or aqua color. So、mm. I thought this will work very well.、Mm. And also, there's like a, some little tiny details, like this is a flower.、Mm. So I thought、It's、it、like、actually, yeah,、mm. match the concept of this, like a garden concept. In her collections, this self-taught jeweler not only pays attention to fashion but also to function. Wang shows me this magical multifunctional necklace. You can wear it long, or detach the silk and wear it separately, or put it on your waist as a belt. I found there are many varieties in your design. Um. Well, actually, there's like three main styles.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I do.、Mm -hmm. Like, um, you can see it like matching this、mm -hmm. that Art Deco that、mm -hmm. I did something like very elegant but vintage style.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I also do like something like Chinese style. Yeah, something very Chinese. Yeah, and then there's also one that is very playful, like asymmetrical、mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like pure Chinese. It's just play with Chinese buttons.、Mm -hmm. But I think that it will be like very attractive when you're in like some Chinese costume party where、mm -hmm. everyone wearing a chi pao,、mm -hmm. and then you can just wear this with like a low cut. Black. Like yeah, evening gown. Evening gown. Oh yeah, yeah I think that will stand out from what、mm. other people are wearing. Yes. Elisa's persistence has turned a hobby into a bigger commitment. Her work can also be found in Hong Kong and Japan. She named her studio Passion Pioneers, inspired by the hidden beauty and energy in the flower. Although the buds start off quite small, once they blossom. The blooms are huge and wild. I believe this philosophy will take Elisa to the next stage of her artistic future.